Uh, well, probably, I worked for some architects at the time, and they lived in a couple of the units. And so, I just couldn't not come here. And, <laughs> <laughs> and also, uh, I've always lived in the city, and I've always lived in Detroit, and, you know, most people in my generation, when they grew up, they moved to the suburbs. Yeah. And the suburbs never was was very interesting to me, and uh, so I have I have to be where there's you know hustle bustle, where you can walk to things. You know I'm not a suburban person at all, so that's why I came here. Now I want to go somewhere. I want to go to a loft or something, a smaller space because I don't need all this space because now I'm alone, so. And I've done a lot of writing about architecture, too. I've worked for architects and done a lot of uh, promotional writing for architects. You wrote this article? Yeah. 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 So if somebody yeah. wants to give me their address, I'll yeah, mail you a copy, because I don't, I don't know whether I have any handy. the ownership model here? So you own the houses, but the ground itself is held by an association? Or? No, what it is, it's a co-op. And, cool? You know, a condominium is where you really own your own place, and but here it's like you own a share yeah. of the whole place. Right. You know, like eggs in a carton. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I have this place that I paid for, but it's just it's not even an ownership so much as a part of, of this a whole, part of, this of the whole. But you know, one is might be worth more or less than others, and people like a lot of people. Oh, you can go in the basement too if you want to. <laughs> a lot of people have finished off and made changes. I haven't made any changes. The only change on my place is that I put a carpet down upstairs. It's original. The floor is original. The kitchen's original. Most people, there are very few places that are original. Every place, almost every place, yes. has totally gutted the kitchen, done something new there, and um, you finished the basement, done things like that. So this is a rare one that is yeah. as as it was. Does it change a lot the conditions? That it's not like ownership, ownership, but being part of this. Cool. Well, you know, it's interesting because um, when I was, when we first moved here, I was pregnant with my first child, and now she's 41. So, um, and there were lots of kids, lots of families here. Then, they all grew up, they went away, and then it became all of us, you know, parents without children, and then, and people moved away, and now, uh, there's suddenly all these babies around. <laughs> and they had a little Halloween party in the park. And uh, there are all these little two-year-olds running around. And it was very strange. Interestingly, the kind of people that were here when I first moved in, they tended to be people who maybe worked for the city. And, um, and it has consistent been that people who've worked for the city uh, teach at the university, teach at Wayne, teach at another university. So higher educated... Doctors, lawyers, so on. People who the area, lawyers who work down, walk downtown, or doctors who are maybe in the medical center or Ford Hospital or somewhere nearby. So it's been, it became, you know, more professional. And then, um, now, it, it wasn't so much, but now more architects and people related to that field are moving in. So we have a number of architects now that are living here. And are the artists starting to join this kind of... Artists? Yeah, or is it... No, because the, the artists are poor. <laughs> 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 and they won't go to Hamtramck. You know Hamtramck? Okay, you gotta go to him, Chandler. It's just kind of independent.
independent. Uh, it's well. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah we we definitely did that. Okay. Yeah. okay. Well, take these guys to him, Chandler. Go to the Polish Village Cafe. You're going to go to Hamtramck? Okay. Um, Hamtramck is, you know, originally Polish and um, Eastern European community, but it's like a city inside Detroit. So it's just kind of, and then the city grew around it. And um, so you have to go to the Polish Village Cafe. Tell them I sent you. <laughs> Oh, good. Yeah, I don't know whether call a help. Oh, okay. And you need cash. You, they don't take credit. So, but it's great. Yeah. And was it a very expensive place in the beginning? Well, this is interesting because when when it first started. Um, <clears throat> When they first built it, because it's over 50 years old, you know, it was built in, you know, starting in the 50s, and uh, that we just celebrated. Let me just turn this off. It's kind of annoying me. Um, it started then, and it started as rental, and the tower, the building down there, the tall building there, was first, and then they built. A group of about 100, 100, 100, 100. And uh, they started off rental. And then they decided to go uh, cooperative. And when they first went cooperative, they were, it was like $1,500. You could buy in for $1,500. And um, when we bought in, we paid $5,000. That was in. 69. Now, <clears throat> people are selling. I was going to sell my place and then I backed out. And I was able to get 125. But people are selling for more because they, most people want something that is fixed up. You know. So, right now it's down because of the economy. But it's not as much down than other parts. No, so. no. And it's like, I've said we should be our own city, because we're, we're, we're <laughs> And it's yeah. mostly, mostly white people living here? Or no, mixed, 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 everything. Okay, and also socially mixed? So it's like they're very... Are, uh, they also, are they very rich people and rather poor people? Everybody's richer than I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you that. <laughs> Most people are educated. But, but a lot no. of people are not aware of, like you are, about, about who's the architect, about what's the original no. plan to maintain that and no. to keep that. Yeah. No. But then it's just modern, cool architecture. Or it's convenient, or whatever okay. they can do with yeah. it, or they need to be in the area, etc. You know, something like that. We were just standing outside and discussing if uh, whether good architecture can make a better, better living. And Mies van der Rohe's uh, architecture, like modern architecture in, in general, is considered to be unpractical and um, not taking care of what people need and so on. Do you have the feeling that something is unpractical in this house? Um, well, I'll tell you what, it's very easy to clean. So that's <laughs> very practical. You know, if you think of a typical house that has lots of corners and closets and edges and so on, it's very, you know, easy to clean. Um, the problem with it, I think, is like these windows. You know, now, even though we have thermopane, air comes in, the caulking separates, you know, and it's, I get a draft. I have all these things against the windows because I have a draft. So it's impractical that way. Okay, but not from the architecture itself, but from the construction. From, yeah, and you can hear through the walls. Well, what you can hear, actually, is the steel beams that run along underneath. I think that's what, you know, it carries the sound. And the other thing that carries the sound, like the people, the guy next door has a tile kitchen floor. And when he gets, sits down and gets up, it goes, ah! Ah! 
and it drives you crazy. It drives me crazy. I want to, I want to kill him. <laughs> so if you ever hear that there was a murder here, <laughs> who it was. And, so, and also the windows, the sound carries along the glass, too. So that part is bad. The good part is that it's really plain. You can do anything with it that you want to do. Um, you know, and uh, so some people who have money and some people, like there's an architect who has um, his place kind of furnished. There's a website, but I, it'll take, take me a while to figure out where it was. There was an article in uh, the New York Times a couple of weeks ago, and it was about living rooms. And there were like, there was an attachment that had like, I think nine living rooms here. So nine different living rooms in the same unit. So you could probably find it. Mm -hmm. Sure, it's on. Mm -hmm. It was just about two weeks ago, I think. Okay. Something like that. Anything else? Do I see the basement? The basement actually is neater than everywhere else. <laughs> okay. So it's the same okay. size, the basement, and the whole apartment. Yeah, it's yeah. the same size.